getting links and getting noticed. Now the first thing is if you're interested in um, getting links you should be beware of buying links. Um, your site's ranking in Google is partly based on analysis of the sort of links you have coming into your website from other websites and uh, back in the day it was about uh, the number of links you had these days it's very definitely about the quality of the links you have and if you can have lots of quality links so much the better so the sites that link to you can provide context about the subject matter of your site and can uh, indicate its quality and popularity these are Google's words However, some webmasters engage in link exchange schemes and build partner pages exclusively for the sake of cross-linking, degrading the quality of the links, the sources, and the long-term impact it will have on their sites. As you can see, this is in violation of Google's webmaster guidelines and can negatively impact your site's ranking in the search engines. If we actually fire up Google and have a look at Google's own site here, so this is at support.google.com slash webmasters, as you can see here, there's information about uh, linking schemes, and as it says, these are the sort of things that, definitely, that Google definitely doesn't like, which are basically links uh, designed primarily to manipulate your page rank, to get a higher page rank. And um, if you have links to um, spammers or bad neighborhoods, that will definitely impact your, your own website. And if you've got excessive reciprocal links or... Um, if there's evidence of um, link exchange schemes, again, this can actually harm you now. Um, so the idea of um, basically buying in uh, um, links or exchanging links purely for the um, um, promotion of your page rank is uh, definitely the sort of thing Google's against. What Google is looking for is high quality organic links linking to your site. So submitting website to uh, the search engines, um, by and large, if you've got lots and lots of uh, links from other websites to your uh, um, your particular website, and if they're quality links, then Google will find it anyway, even if it's a new site. Um, but if you do want to submit directly to the search engines, always read the FAQs associated not just with Google, but with other search en engines such as um, uh, Bing and uh, Yahoo. And uh, you can... Uh, basically search the uh, Google Webmaster Guidelines for more information. So again, if we go and look for information on this, in this case I've just done a Google search doing Google Webmaster Guidelines, and the first item that comes up here will basically take you to a page on Google's own site, and there's three very important documents that everyone should read if you're involved with promoting your website. The first one is Design and Content uh, Guidelines, the second one is Technical Guidelines, and uh, in many ways the most important one is Quality Guidelines. If we go and look more at uh, quality issues, it's basically telling you to um, go for quality content rather than all sort of schemes and tricks that are available out there. Um, if you go down here, there's a bit uh, specifically about uh, quality guidelines. As it says, avoid things like hidden text or hidden links. These are some of the tricks that uh, black hat uh, SEO spammers will use. Don't use cloaking or sneaky redirects. Um, don't send automated queries to Google using um, programs that will check your uh, positions in the search engines. Again, Google's um, not too pleased with that because it uses up its bandwidth. And uh, don't load lots of pages with irrelevant keywords in the same, exactly the same vein. Don't create multiple pages, subdomains or domains with uh, substantially duplicate content. So it basically reinforces the message that Google is giving over and over again these days that basically Google is looking for quality content and will reward quality content and in turn if you've got quality content that should attract good organic natural links to your sites from other people. So as I say don't use automated um, website submission services. Um, there are loads of these if you search the web for this sort of thing within uh, any of the search engines you'll find there's loads and loads of services many of them free some of them charge a small amount and uh, Basically, again, if you read all the FAQs, all the major search engines say don't use these services, submit um, your website um, individually uh, to each search engine, and basically avoid these automated services where possible. Now, as I say, if you read the, um, the guidelines posted by Google, they will tell you categorically that the best way to submit to Google is to use the Google submission service. It's as simple as that. And uh, you don't have to submit every single page. Basically, if you just submit the home page, 
Google eventually in a couple of days, come to your website, uh, have a look around, it will start indexing your site and listing your site. So uh, you can submit um, what are called uh, site maps, more on those later. But uh, by and large, once Google knows about your homepage, then if you've got uh, proper links to the rest of your website, then Google will just come back periodically and uh, explore more of your website and start indexing more of your website. Um, as far as um, submitting your, sites to, your website to loads and loads of search engines are concerned, really the important ones are the well-known ones, things like Google is the, the, the important one. Then there's uh, other important search engines of things like um, Bing and Yahoo. If you search the web, you will find some websites which will list hundreds and hundreds of um, search engines, most of which no one's ever heard of and even less people are going to use. So I say j just focus on the important search engines and uh, um, the rest will find you if they're any good. Now, just something else to be aware of is this thing called Google um, Site Links, or Extended Links as it's sometimes called. Sometimes when you do a search, uh, especially for a brand search, you'll find that, as you can see in this case here, a search of the Guardian newspaper will basically reply, report back to the, uh, the home page. And then there's a whole load of uh, extended links down here. And uh, these will vary, obviously, from site to site. Now, at the moment, there's not much you can do to control these apart from um, demoting the ones down here you don't like. So this is a real search. I've searched for the, uh, the Guardian newspaper. Up it comes. And these things down here, these are the extended links. Um, so it's just um, a, yet another way that Google has changed over the years to basically improve the, um, the quality of the search. Now, something else you need to know about is the Open Directory project, or, or DMOS as it's sometimes called. Um, the Open Directory project is basically a uh, directory as opposed to a search engine. It's maintained by real people. And the idea of the Open Directory project is it will uh, review uh, sites are submitted to it, it rejects more sites than it accepts and basically it aims to be a repository of uh, good websites. It's important that you um, submit your uh, website to the Open Directory project or DMOZ uh, which is found at www.dmoz.org. Um, the reason for this is that if you submit your search engine to uh, DMOZ or the Open Directory project and if, it's, if your uh, submission is uh, accepted by them, then this is basically taken as a sort of tick of approval by many of the search engines, including Google. So you'll find that uh, all other things being equal, if your uh, site is accepted by the Open Directory project for inclusion within their directory, then that should improve your page rank and your general findability within search engines. So it, it's definitely something you should uh, you think about. If we just quickly fire this up, so this is demos.org. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit bare when you first look at it, but as you see, you can go up here and suggest a URL, and as I said, it is very much a suggestion. They will uh, go and look at it, and uh, it can take quite some time to get accepted. Um, the advice, basically, is if you want to submit your, your website to this particular directory, make sure it's pretty well perfect before you do it. If you've got pages that say under development or broken links, all that kind of stuff, they're going to reject you out of hand. So only, subject, only uh, submit to the Open Directory project once you're, um, you're pretty well certain the, um, the website is perfect. Now, something else you all come across when you start talking about um, websites and uh, links and um, getting your site found is the idea of um, a sitemap. Now, there's two types of sitemaps, and it's a little bit confusing. Um, one version of a sitemap is basically just simply a page you have on your website which lists all the other main important pages um, on your website and that's basically there for the benefit of um, humans but it could also be of use to the search engines because once it's found that page that, inter that page in turn will link to all the other important pages. Now there's another type of sitemap which is purely for the search engines and this is called an XML sitemap. It uses a, a special sort of um, format um, using uh, XML and uh, the idea is you can create an XML sitemap uh, for your particular website and then submit that sitemap in turn to um, the search engine including Google. Um, you can write this yourself or there's, if you do a quick search you'll find there's numerous um, sites that will generate um, an XML sitemap for you. One of these is this one here which is um, www.xml-sitemaps.com and if you just quickly uh, fire this up 
as you can see, this is a very simple process. You just simply enter your details in here, fit in these other parameters here if, if they're required. Um, click on the start button and off you go. So it takes literally a couple of minutes and uh, what you get out the other end is a file you can download to your hard disk and you can then in turn upload that to your, to your web server. Once it's there you can submit that to uh, Google and the other search engines.